in this bathroom job, um, the floor's got a bit of give in it. So this is going, but I'm gonna fit a unit here, but if you watch that, hopefully when we've done the floor, we'll come back and that won't do that, or it won't be as bad. What we're gonna do, it's got some two by two strutting. And if I show you on here, if this is a side view of our joists, so we'd be stood on the top here, load would be coming down on this joist. Same again here. What we do is we put some diagonal cross bracing in here. And then what that does is when you stand on here, it transfers the load to this joist and shares the weight. If you imagine it goes off this way to the next joist and so on spreading the load so rather than just this one joist taking all the load it's spread out across the whole floor and that should stop our bounce this floor is about 2.8 meters so at 1.4 we'll pull a couple of the floorboards up and put our strutting in this one was screwed down and a lot of these are but most of them are nailed down um, so just this is how I get a nailed floor up get a couple of these if you can bang it in the end and then you can twist it that way to lift the floor rather than try and lever it um, I got two in either side of the nail lift it up got these two up got these nails out now I've still got two two sets of nails to get out so what I'll do is I'll lift the floorboard up and this is where you have to be a, kind of a bit a bit brave and you have to think about what you're doing because what you don't want to do is snap this floorboard so I'll get this along as far as I can. I'm not lifting it up too high. All I'm trying to do, see, that's come up now. What that's done is lifted the nails up. So I should be able to bang it down and expose the heads of the nails. And then pop that in. The nail off. Just be careful you don't lift or lever this too much, you just want enough to expose enough of the head of this nail so you can get your lever underneath it. You don't want to snap the board. It doesn't always work, sometimes they'll pull through, especially if they're smaller than these, these great big things that are in here at the minute. Sometimes the smaller ones will just, not that one, but pull through the wood. So <clears throat> you can normally get it out of the hammer. Um, if you can't get enough leverage on your hammer, just put a wedge underneath it and then just gives you a little bit more height. If that's not doing it for you, just raise it up. Sometimes these are long and you'll pull it and it won't come out anymore. So you can stick a block of wood or this has got an arch on it, stick that over there and lift up a little bit. So what I've done is I've drawn a line across there and then you measure thickness of your joist which is just over 172 so if we go 165 it gives me a little bit of wiggle room at the bottom because obviously we're retrofitting this the ceilings are in place and I don't want to mess with it so we then draw another line 165 across here and then that gives us our joist thickness we do the same on this side and basically what we've got now is like an end view of these two joists or how high we want them to be. Now all we've got to do is get our strut, line it up with the top edge on this top line and then the bottom edge on this bottom line over here and then get underneath and as close as you can mark a line, then when we turn it over, we've basically got our strut cut to this size. Now we do it on each one because they're all gonna be slightly different. Um, you like to think the centers are exactly the same, but there'll always be a bit of um, deviation. So if you mark this, go all the way across, I'll use a spirit level. 
just draw your top line. You can just show it up against there. Draw your top line and then come down from it. Um, like this one here has been sistered. So that gap's gonna be obviously narrow and we've got pipes in there as well, which is something else to play with. But however, that's our joist. We'll call that uh, one, two, we'll call this number two. And then we do get these out of the way and we do our second one, exactly the same process. We line up the top edge with the top line and then the bottom edge with the bottom line like that, get underneath and draw it. I mean, a sharper pencil than this might be better. We'll see how accurate that is. Right, now we've got our two struts. We can cut them and then they should fit in nicely. So let's go and get them cut. Right, we've got our struts made. That's for this one here. Uh, this one here is a prime example of why strutting is kind of a little bit easier than blocking if you were just putting noggins in. Um, existing cable, like the existing pipes we've got there, but existing cable, all you've got to do is just move it out of the way. That can run across the top of this wood now. Um, it's not tight. And then I'm going to pre-drill these. I'm going to count sink them as well. I don't want to encourage these to split because they're only two, or just about, just under two inch, two by twos these are. Um, I'm going to put a bit of glue on it as well. I know it's overkill, but I feel better doing it. I'm going to use this stuff. I really like this stuff, it's my favourite stuff. Especially on squeaky stairs, you can buy it in like a tube and use it in a corking gun. And get it in all the cracks and it expands. It's a bit like Gorilla Glue, glue but it doesn't seem to go off as quick as in, in the pot. Um, this one's over a year old now and it's still usable. Gorilla Glue would have died a long time ago. So yeah, I'm just gonna pre-drill these, countersink them. I'm gonna use a countersink bit just because it's quicker and easier. And then we'll put a bit of glue on it. Now the problem with um, retrofitting stuff as well is I'm not gonna be able to get underneath because the ceiling's there. So I'm gonna have to put this one in sideways and probably shorten this extension down. Let me countersink these and I'll bring you back to that bit. Got our struts cut, um, pre-drilled, countersunk, screws halfway in just to give us a bit more space. I'm gonna put some glue on them. And my plan is I'm gonna try and get the bottom one in first and then just put a bit of tension on that top one so then it holds itself in place. We've got a gap across the bottom there and it's not sticking up above the top of this because I don't want it to affect the floorboard height. But let's get some of this glue on. This stuff expands and it'll uh, take up any there you go, slack. I'm just gonna, this is probably overkill, but I feel better about it. I'm just gonna put a fair decent blob on it. I'm not gonna worry about spreading it out. <clears throat> just like that. So get the bottom one in, line the top one up, and then pull the bottom one in. And hopefully, I've got to go in at the angle because obviously I can't get underneath. And then I'm going to push down a little bit on that. Not too much. So obviously we've got the ceilings already in. I'm going to start moving these joists about and then potentially crack them. All right, that's one. And then the second one, I've got to lift it up like so. Um, there's a nail here. Let me get that out. Remember to flip, flip that cable up. Same thing again, have these next to each other. Get that bottom one in. Bit of tension. There we go. Hopefully you can see this, but I'm not doing it again if you can't. Hopefully, the glue will make up for any slack and piss ball cuts. Get that one in a bit more tighter. I hate going at an angle, but there you go. That's better.
Now this one here is a prime example of this system not really working. Um, I measured it up, put it across, but this, this joist here is sloping towards you. The bottom's kicking out. Um, we're retrofitting this, so obviously I can't, I can't straighten the joist up. Not without removing the whole floor or, and then probably damaging the ceiling below, which I don't want to get involved in all that. So I just had to tweak these a little bit. Took about, probably about four or five mil off it just to get it to sit down. They were too long, basically, sticking up the top. Right, I'm gonna carry on doing this now. Um, I've got a bit of a problem this end because there's a brick wall halfway in the middle of this floor. I'll show you that. So I'm obviously not gonna be able to get between this joist and that joist, but I can carry on and then when the bath comes out, I'll go all the way across to the end. And then here, I've got to come up with something with that pipe. Um, I'm going to try and get something underneath that as well, but that's the basic thing we're doing. So, and then we'll see if that, I'll get that one in and that one in today, put the carpet back down again, and then I'll see if that's made an improvement. Let's see if I can't get that one in. So here we go. This is almost done. I've got to do under the bath, but that's got to wait till I get that out. That one's done. That's a brick wall, so if that's flexing up and down, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, these two here, I've got one in here. Now, because of this pipe, I was gonna do something elaborate, like get a two by three and cut, split in half, drill a hole and clamp it either side of that so that this runs through it, but I just didn't see the value in it. So they're not next to each other, but it's I, I'm guessing that's better than having nothing. But I did manage to get one in there, which is underneath that wall. So that's quite good. Uh, floorball's back on again now and see if it works. It feels better. Just walking on it feels better. It wasn't shocking, but they would rattle. There's a little bit of movement still there still. I don't think the camera's wobbling like it was. Not that I can tell from here, but it seems to work. It's not cured completely. It's improved it a lot. Um, so if you've got a wobbly floor, it's definitely worth giving this a go. I'm still not finished yet. I've got some floorboards to swap out and that might improve it as well because some of them are loosely nailed and that doesn't help. But anyway, check out my other stuff. I'll see you on the next one.